I hate recording so late because you get all this glare on my glasses. You can't really see my eyes. And again, could just record like this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name, of course, is Artemidge, and welcome to day six of Vita. And not another day where I don't have a much of a topic to talk about. So, let's discuss my day. Because, why not? Give you a little more insight to that which is me. So, today, uh, after some changes at work, they're minor but they're disruptive, I finally got back to doing my job as opposed to the busy work, so that was nice to get back to. Uh, then, got home, got a ride home, which was nice because it was my mic because it was raining out and wet as crap and I didn't feel like having my shoes be portable swimming pools went up happening later anyway but it was nice to save that for later things got a little disturbed from the initial plans as I mentioned I was expecting to be at black night around five o'clock this evening uh, till closer to close but uh, getting there wound up being late from the start uh, a guy that I've met a couple times who's big in the War Machine community, Mike Long, who's also into other games as well. Uh, today he was coming out for Star Wars Destiny with his buddy Rich, who lives in town. And he had one cascade after another happen to just slow him right down. He had to stop and get gas on his way, and right outside the gas station there was a car accident that kept everyone at the uh, gas station trapped there for 40 minutes. So despite the fact they left this place in Toronto at about 10 after 3, he didn't get here to Hamilton until well after 5 because that 40 minute trapped in the gas station led to hitting cluster of cluster of cluster of traffic the whole way through because that's when our first wave of rush hour hits of course. So that took some time out of my day, got to Black Knight, no one was really there who was uh, Looking to play at my level, uh, though I did wind up having a game with one Josh Patrick. It was a good game. It was really unusual as well. Uh, being a miniatures war game, you can typically expect a few casualties at least each game. And I made the first real strike where I fired my Hyperion's weapons at one of his war beasts, leaving it on about three boxes after the, all that fire. He got hit by the Starburst Cannon for some decent damage and four shots from the Thresher Cannons. And that, he just toughed it right out. Not an actual tough roll, but he was still there at the end of it. Couldn't do much with it, which was nice for me. Then he took some shots at me and didn't do anything of note. And then the following turn, I killed his warlock, so we had an entire game where there was literally only one casualty between the two of us. And I don't think I've ever seen that in a game of War Machine before. Now granted this was only a 50 point game, 50 points from Mark II is now 75 points in Mark III, but I think we still had quite a decent number of things out there that could be compared to a 50 point game of Mark II. I mean, my battle group was four warjacks, my Colossal and a minimum unit of halberdiers. His was about eight war beasts. He had four shredders out there a rake, a typhon, a ravagor, and one or two others I can't remember. And just he left quite the channel open to uh, Thagrosh from my Hyperion. So even though he scored three control points and his was the only score of the game, when you kill the war down, that's really the only part that matters. I was kind of hoping to have more to say today. Um, beyond that, at the store uh, was my buddy Brad McLeod, who uh, does bold design painting. He was there waiting for me, and I was way late. He was there roughly when I was expecting to be there. So, Brad, if you see this, I apologize again for being late. But Brad finished up my uh, miniatures for my Red Veil kit, just because I want a consistent tabletop standard design. I, I play too much with my painting to keep a steady army look going. I'll have pictures of those posted uh, probably tomorrow. Anyways, I'll stop rambling at you all now. Everyone have a great night. I'll talk to you tomorrow.